The bomb, all 21,600 pounds of it, was aimed at the center of an ISIS cave complex in Afghanistan. When it detonated at 7.32 in the evening local time, it set off a massive pressure wave that would have literally crushed the life out of fighters hiding in the caves. The massive ordnance air blast, as it is officially called, sent a mushroom-like cloud towering into the sky. General John Nicholson, the U.S. commander in Afghanistan, said he used the bomb so Afghan troops and their American advisors wouldn't have to go in on the ground to clear out the caves. There are an estimated six to 800 ISIS fighters in Afghanistan, most of them located in an area right across the border from Pakistan. Pentagon officials said the strike had been in the works for months and that the bomb itself was moved into Afghanistan during the Obama administration. Authority to use it had been delegated to General Nicholson, although he notified Washington in advance. As shown in this 2003 test, the bomb is dropped from an MC-130 aircraft, using a parachute to drag it out of the cargo bay. The sled detaches and the bomb falls to earth, guided by a GPS system designed to be accurate within 10 yards. This test, conducted on open ground, shows the pressure wave set off by the bomb. It was specifically developed to attack cave complexes and for its pure terror effect. Meanwhile, Scott, the war in a, against the Taliban in Afghanistan grinds on into its 17th year. General Nicholson recently called it a stalemate and said he needs a few thousand more troops. David Martin reporting from the Pentagon tonight. David, thank you.